What's up guys, welcome to the new video. I wanted to start off the New Year's right, so how about let's make some funnel cake. Let's do it. There were many different flavors I had to consider in order to get the funnel cake profile. For the first ingredient, I went with sugar cookie. And I went with sugar cookie because, to me, out of most other cookie flavorings, it has more of a buttery note to it, and I just felt like Capella Sugar Cookie version 1 would go best here. So, and for the purpose of this recipe, I used Capella Sugar Cookie at 0.5%, just a little bit, just to sell that bakery note. The next flavoring up is Flavor West Cake Batter Dip. I chose this because it gives you this uh, nice bakery note. It gives you like this almost gooey cake type flavor, kind of like a vanilla cupcake slash animal cracker note, but it really does well in helping build that funnel cake flavor that you really want because in DIY you need to like build it up and use the flavors you have in your disposal and kind of bend them in order to make them the flavor profile you want and I feel like cake batter dip did the best job here. And of course what recipe would it be without flavor arts meringue? Because it's a bakery I wanted to use flavor arts meringue at 1% just to give it that little powdered sugar, the powdered sugar that's on the funnel cake. Also, I wanted to use it to kind of like moisten the dough of the funnel cake and that's what meringue is also very good for. Well, all right, and this ingredient is kind of self-explanatory, and it's Capella's funnel cake. Now, we all know why we're using this, because it's a funnel cake recipe. We're using this at 5%, and it will give it that nice fried dough note that pretty much puts together this whole recipe. This particular ingredient is 100% needed. You cannot substitute this. It has a very unique flavoring. Next ingredient up is Flavor Art Joy. I'm using Flavor Art Joy in this recipe because it pairs very well with funnel cakes. In itself, it is like its own funnel cake slash yeasty kind of sugary doughy treat additive almost. Because with Flavor Art Joy, you only want to use a very tiny bit. A very tiny bit goes a long way and that's why I'm using Flavor Art Joy in this mix. Just to help with that confectionery sugar note. Also with that doughy funnel cake yeasty. You kind of have to try it to understand it's one of those flavors that are a little bit weird and a little bit temperamental so only use a little bit so in this recipe it's going in at 0.75 percent my next ingredient will be flavor west yellow cake now this flavor is definitely a staple in anybody's collection. I personally love this flavor and I use it in a lot of my mixes. What yellow cake will do is it will actually give you a yellow cake like flavor, an authentic moist yellow cake. It's very good and it definitely helps in this recipe to bring up the cake note in it because again flavors are your building blocks. I'm using this to build up that cakey funnel cake taste and it really worked here. I'm really proud out of it the only thing with this flavor is you have to watch out because there is corn syrup in it so that is something that you're gonna have to weigh the risks if you are okay with vaping stuff with corn syrup in it then go ahead try this one out and the last ingredient we'll be using here is tfa marshmallow and we're using it just to help air out that dough a little bit try to give it a, a little bit of an inherent sweet note i figured tfa marshmallow would do that good here to kind of thicken it up a little bit and it would just give that extra little bit to help that kind of sugary glaze that goes on top with that confectionery sugar and, and i like how it came out and now the only thing left to do is add your optional sweetener i always like to say sweetener is optional because there are a lot of reservations against it i personally don't mind the drawbacks of using sweetener and i love to vape sweet juices it keeps me off smoking cigarettes so i add sweetener to most of my mixes 
I'm personally going to add it at a high percentage here, which is 2%, but you can knock that down as much as you want, but considering that these treats usually have confectionery sugar on it, I want it to be very sweet. So that's what I'm using it here, but it's completely optional. Use it between 0 and 2% and you should be fine. Also, the only thing left to do now is to add your nicotine, your bases, mix that thing up, bottle it, put a label on it, and you're pretty much done. So... I hope you guys really like this new format. It's a new thing I'm trying out. I want it to be a new JFM development for 2017. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And please also put a like on this video. Let me know how you guys are liking the new format. If you have any comments or concerns, please leave it in the comments. I love your feedback. And you guys have yourselves a great day.